Hello guys, a few weeks ago I released this video that you can see on the screen presenting you our new package Lara Starters version 0.1 at the point. Over a few weeks I analyzed a lot of feedback, we added a new functions and now today I'm presenting you official Lara Starters version 1.0. So if you are creating a new Laravel project and you want to have starter kit, default Laravel Breeze or UI, simple starter kit, but with a different design, let me show you what we have for you. Here's the release for official version 1.0 and what is inside. For those of you who haven't seen that previous video, I will repeat how it works. So you install a new Laravel project, Laravel new, in my example, project three, for example, let it be the folder. Then I do CD into that project three and do composer require Laravel daily Lara starters. That package is intended to be used immediately after Laravel installation because it may override your code if you add any custom code. So we install the package and now all you need to do is to run the command php artisan lara starters install. Then you choose the starter kit. Which one do you want to use? Laravel Breeze with Tailwind design or Laravel UI with Bootstrap? Laravel Breeze with Tailwind has three themes to offer to choose from and Laravel UI Bootstrap has four themes. We had three originally, but one was added by a contribution from a community member. So let's choose Laravel UI, for example, we choose one, and then you choose the theme. We have four themes, admin LT, core UI, plain admin and vault. And for example, let's choose vault. And then it installs the theme, installs the Laravel UI itself, or installs Laravel Breeze, if you choose Breeze, so you don't need to install that manually. And then all you need to do is npm install and npm run dev, like this. So I'll wait for it to finish and show you the result. Okay, so npm command is successful. And now if we launch project three dot test, which is powered locally by my Laravel valet. So it creates the domain name automatically. The homepage is the default Laravel. But when you click login or register, you will land into a different design based on your theme. So for example, register looks like this in the vault theme that we've chosen. And let's use fake filler Chrome extension to register. And let's see what's inside. By default, we have the dashboard. The dashboard is identical to Laravel Breeze or Laravel UI dashboard. It's just empty dashboard where you can put your whatever charts or some notifications or whatever. But on top of that, we added a few features that are mostly relevant to majority of such projects. So simple table. It's a simple table with controller getting all the users from the database. My database is an old one, so I didn't run any migrations. In reality, that table would be empty, but I wanted to show you some examples. So sample table is included in the generated code. Then about us is a static text page. So you can change that to whatever text you want. And then there's profile management. So that is relevant to almost any web project. So the user would be able to change name, email, or change the password. So that is also included in the generated code. So dot, 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 we submit and profile updated. Based on the theme, you will get notifications as this or notifications alert above the table or with suite alert. It's based on the theme. And final thing, two level menu. It doesn't actually lead anywhere. The links are not present, but this is just an example how to create two level menu in that particular theme. So that's the version one. You can check out the themes in our readme file in the documentation. The links to the original themes are all here. And when analyzing your feedback after version 0.1, I thought about extra features that we could add like role management or other features, but I decided to postpone that at least for now and focus on the starter kit. The whole definition of starter kit is just for starters. Not every project would require admin and role management. So that is an example of kind of extra feature on top of starter kit. So for the first release, I wanted to focus only on the design theme and functions that will be used by almost everyone. If you have any feature requests or want to contribute, open issue, open pull request and let's discuss. But currently I think about this package as a starter kit with a lot of options. So maybe it's worth for us to explore Breeze version of Vue and React. Maybe it's worth to create inertia version of starter, live wire version, not sure. Shoot in the comments or again open the issue and let's discuss. But if you want more features with more powerful generator of starter kit, you may also check out our old project project, which has a lot of features and is on the market for a long time, quick admin panel to generate not the starter kit, but a lot of things, including roles and permissions with a lot of modules available like multi-tenancy, API, calendar, and stuff like that. But for a quick start, that was the goal to create that large starters for free on GitHub. And let me know if you have any feedback and see you guys in other videos.